Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, one of the things I wanted to go over real quick, it's our 28 and a half watt panel. Um, we do have the uh, USB charging port, USB type C, and I just kind of want to go over uh, the different options with the, the DC5521 port. Because I've had a lot of people ask, the smaller power stations like the Blue Eddies, the Jackeries, what have you, I don't have a Jackery here as an example, but I'm going to use the Blue Eddy. Um, using a DC port, can you charge it directly from our 28 and a half watt panel? Uh, some of the other smaller power stations like our Dakota, um, the Dakota Lithium here, a lot of people use uh, either the 10, 10 amps, a pretty small one. They have a 23 and an 18 amp, but this is just an example that we're giving. Something that could be used in the ham radio world. Uh, and just give you some examples of some different devices we can charge. I've got a Sherpa AC100 right here. That's this guy right here. That's a Goal Zero product. And yeah, I just wanted to show you real quick. So what we have on the back and what I'm doing right now, um, I've got it plugged into the Dakota Lithium right here. Now, the, the neat thing about this product is it's an all-in-one product. And what I wanted to do is just kind of go over everything and show you the versatility and some examples of what you can do with the DC5521 port. So as an example, right now, we're just plugged in through the back right here and then we're plugged in with out we've got alligator clips that's how it attaches to these ports and then the bonus to this uh, dakota lithium as an example it has two high speed usb charging ports has a cigarette lighter plug in here and you can add an inverter which i have plugged in right here so i'm just giving an example here some examples of what you can do like we're going to have a, a fire a little bit later on so i brought our electric chainsaw to make sure it's fully powered up um, I've got the battery actually plugged into this inverter, which could also be plugged into this or to the larger Blue Eddy uh, EB70 here. But the neat thing is, is um, if you're looking for a lesser expensive, something just to trickle charge, one of these battery packs, our 28 and a half watts going to work really well. So we can pow easily power a system like this. And then I'm going to show you the different cables that we use. Um, these, we don't offer them right now, but you can buy them off of Amazon. This is a DC5521, um, I believe it's, I guess it would be female to female when you think of it. And, and then I've got an adapter here. So this is all you would need is a cable like this. You can buy these off of Amazon. What I did as well too, and we'll eventually offer this. I just bought a, a pack of different adapters. It's DC5521 and there's several adapters. There's more in here. And that's where I've got this. It's to an eight millimeter plug. And the eight millimeter plug, if I wanted to, just to show you guys here real quick. So I'm gonna plug this guy into the back of the, the 28 and a half watt. Then I'll plug it into the Blue Eddy. Now we're near the end of the day, so it's really not gonna provide a huge amount of wattage going in. I'm, I'd say we, we're gonna be lucky with the clouds to even get 10 watts. There you go, there's like four watts going in with the clouds, eight watts. So yeah, eight watts, like we're like almost 5 p.m. and it's pretty late in the day here. 9 watts, so there you go. But this gives an example how you can actually charge uh, one of the... It's not the smaller battery pack, but yeah, this is one of one of the more um, well-known battery packs like this. Same thing here, the Gold Zero. They've got the smaller, like the 400s, the Yeti 400s. They've got the 100 AC here. Same thing, if I wanted to power it, you can just plug it right into here. And I have noticed for anybody that has a Sherpa 100 AC, I did a testing... Uh, two days ago and I compared it charging from our USB type C port to the USB type C because I have oh, right here So it has that option as well too because USB type C actually requires a minimum type type of uh, wattage If you get a little bit of cloud going in it's way better to use a DC 5521 port um, It's less finicky. I guess you could say but yeah, just to give you an example, some of the different items that you can charge directly from the back of this port and I will show you this too like what I've got here are, it's just two alligator clips. So basically a smaller version of the battery clip cables here. So theoretically, if you had uh, even like a trolling motor for your fishing, or if you had a, uh, a 12 volt battery that you just wanted to trickle charge, you could do it directly from this. But on that note, just be very, very careful because we're not going to warranty something that we don't sell. I did a test. These are cables I bought off of Amazon. So that's an Anderson power pole cable. This is an MC4. I did a test, the polarities reversed on this one. So test everything, make sure beforehand, because you would possibly fry one of these devices if the polarity was reversed. Basically it means the positives in the negative spot, the negatives in the, in the positive spot. So make sure to test everything. Um, but yeah, like eventually our goal is, is to offer a package with this. Like even another example I'll show you here. 
this guy takes a smaller DC port and this is actually for our trailer here we've got a portable um, uh, vacuum so when we arrive we can vacuum so it's got the little port there so we can actually charge this directly from our 28 and a half watt here which is pretty cool but yeah I just wanted to go over that I plan on creating some more videos down the road here that's Milo our helper he's always helpful a lot <laughs> but um, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to give a quick intro into the DC5521 port. Haven't spent a lot of time talking about that because more people are interested in USB and USB type C, but I've had a ton of people basically asking, can we power just trickle charge the smaller solar generators that have a port like this? Yes, we can. Just make sure that you double check what the voltage um, and, and your amperage and wattage is. So this one, for example, is 12 to 28 volts, 200 watts max. Well, our DC5521 port here is rated for 12 volts, so you can easily do that. So just double check the parameters and what is required so that it actually will charge. So that's up to you to do that at your end as well. But yeah, these are just some examples. What I'm going to do is uh, I'll put together uh, some other videos kind of showing, uh, like two days ago, I fully powered this, I fully um, charged up this, this 12 amp battery from a chainsaw with this guy just to... Uh, see how quickly it would be and I think in less than six hours we had a bit of cloud we fully powered up this Sherpa AC uh, 100 AC which is just under 100, 100 watt hours so that was pretty good that it was able to do that but either way guys enjoy the rest of your day my name's Reddy I'm the owner of the company any questions uh, give us a call I'm gonna have our phone number I'm gonna have our email on there and I'll definitely um, yeah I'll definitely be able to help you guys out just uh, guys just be patient right now all we're doing is filling orders so if we don't answer right away our goal is within 24 hours uh, and on weekends to be blunt I'm learning that life balance is extremely important so I'm trying to take weekends off um, Saturdays and Sundays I just got the thumbs up for my girlfriend but uh, I'm trying to do more of that so to be blunt I'm not really gonna answer phones as much on weekends guys so I understand everybody wants product yesterday but we got to have we got to have lives ourselves as well too okay enjoy your weekend we're gonna enjoy ours we got some steaks for the barbecue and we're gonna just enjoy the full moon tonight and yeah okay we'll talk to you soon bye then